Although earthquakes are by far the most common cause of tsunamis, there is another source for these deadly waves, landslides. And these tsunamis have the potential to be so big that they have been called mega tsunamis. Scientists had long suspected that waves could be generated in this way, but conclusive photographic proof wasn't available until 1958. A landslide into Latoya Bay in Alaska triggered a wave that reached heights of several thousand feet. This footage shows the wave's enormous power. The trees here once stretched all the way down to the shores of the bay, but were ripped off the slopes by a wall of water, leaving nothing but bare, exposed rock. Tsunamis on this scale are incredibly rare, but another mega tsunami, triggered by a rockfall 10,000 times bigger than Latoya Bay, could be on its way from a small island across the Atlantic Ocean. The Canary Islands off the coast of Africa are formed from a series of volcanoes. The youngest is the island of La Palma. It is formed from two volcanic ridges. The first is the extinct Cumbrae Nueva to the north of the island. The younger, active Cumbre Vieja lies to the south. Geologist Dr. Simon Day's research was crucial in developing the La Palma mega tsunami theory. It began with an unusual rift that had opened up during a major volcanic eruption in 1949. We're standing here in the fault, and it runs way down to the south along the crest of the volcano for two and a half miles. So it's one continuous long structure. Day believes this fault is evidence of a geological time bomb, the beginning of a giant landslide. What we think will happen in some future eruption is that this fault will have gotten bigger and the whole of this western side will slide away in a giant landslide into the ocean to create the tsunami. This landslide would send the entire southwest section of La Palma, one-sixth of the island's total mass, crashing into the Atlantic Ocean in a single giant landslide. 1,200 billion tons of rock would hurtle towards the ocean at top speed. The resulting wave would head straight out into the Atlantic. After crossing the Atlantic and piling up again on, for example, the eastern seaboard of the United States, the waves there, we predict, would still be between 30 and 100 feet high, even though it seems so extraordinary. This is what happens in the geological record. This is what Earth does. Tsunamis are an inevitable part of Earth's dynamic structure. Their capacity to destroy is awesome. But as scientists begin to understand more about the origins of tsunamis, they are coming closer to predicting where and when these monsters may strike.